Brittany here with Orchard Corset and I have a little instructional video for you. Now I'm going to show you how to relace a standard length corset. We have a couple other relacing videos. One shows it on the 201 Waspy specifically and the other one that we have shows a relacing done on a long line corset. So this is something that our customer service team thought would be really helpful for you folks. Now I have here a 411 uh, standard and then also I have five yards of ribbon laces. Now we sell lots of different colors. This just happens to be purple so it can be really contrast with the corset. Um, five to six yards is about how much you're going to need for a standard length corset. If you've sized down quite a bit though you might want to grab six to seven instead and if you're only sizing down just a little you might be able to get away with four even but check with our customer service team just to be sure. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that these aglets are really even because that'll just make lacing it up even easier. You are going to come in from underneath this backbone and pull up. And the same on the other side. Now again, our goal here is just to keep those uh, aglets together at all times because we want to be able to tie them off in a bow evenly or uh, in a knot evenly in the back uh, when we're done lacing this up. Now I like to try to keep the ribbon kind of flat when I'm relacing it just because it looks nice and it's probably the only time it'll ever be this flat and even. And so the first, the next thing we're gonna do uh, now that we have it underneath uh, the laces um, is to take the side that uh, is on my right, I have the bottom of the corset towards me. So on my right, so it's still at the top of the corset, we're gonna come over the top and make an X. The X's are what you pull on when you go to lace yourself in. We have a few different videos that show how to lace yourself in, so I'll be sure to link that so you can see how those X's work. So I went from the top and then I came out the other side and now I've got my laces over here so I can work with them next. So this is still from the top. Now I'm going in on the other side. So we'll show you from top, from facing um, a down, um, but also I'm gonna show you here. So that way you guys can really understand what's happening. So now I have this little X pattern on the uh, top of the backbones. So now I'm gonna take this next one, once I found my aglet, right there, and I'm gonna come from the back side of those backbones. Again, pull it all the way through and repeat on the other side. Okay, so still that X on the top, but now they're crossed underneath as well. And we're gonna do another X on the top. After this one, we're gonna make those bunny ears that you pull on that you see tied off in a bow in the back in the pictures. Okay, same thing. Okay, so now we have two X's on the top of the back bones and I'm going to make the, that, that bunny ear that you need. So I have the laces uh, from one side and I'm going to come underneath not make a knot like I just did. There we go, fixed. And then I'm going to stay on that side. Come right through. Now I've got this little pull loop. I'm just going to hang on to that over here for a sec. I'm going to repeat from the back side, pull it, and now staying on that same side. Okay, so now we have two loops, little bunny ears, and you're going to be able to pull those when you're lacing yourself in. Okay, so now this is when they cross back over. So we were just on that same side. Uh, the same sides on uh, for the bunny ears. Now we're going to go back to those X's. So we're going to go up underneath the back of the corset. Repeat. Now we're going to make an X on the top. Okay. We have an X below our bunny ears now. Making another X. Now this is the last one. 
on uh, this corset. So this one is a really easy one to show as an example because it's nice and uh, it's just nice and symmetrical. There's two X's at the top, the bunny ears, and then two X's at the bottom. So it's just a really good example. Okay, so now we just made that last X where I crossed them at the uh, over top of the back bones. Now you'll see, I'll show you. Where they're dangling down in the bottom, that's the uh, bottom edge of the corset. Like that's gonna be down at the base of uh, your lower back. What I'm gonna do is tie them off in a little, little knot, kind of as neat and tidy as I can. I have those aglets back together. Just gonna do a little loop knot. You can get fancy and use any of those uh, nice sailor knots or anything like that. So now you'll see that the aglets uh, are together and they're gonna be sitting in the back, kind of at your lower back um, down near your booty. Um, and the, some, not all folks like to have those kind of poking in there. So you can absolutely snip those off. It's completely personal preference. Um, I don't mind them, but that's not true for everybody. It won't affect the functionality of the laces as long as you know you keep your knot in there. Um, but it will be trickier to relace the corset without those aglets if you do snip them off. So just keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, now you have this laced up corset um, with these really bold purple laces. I'm gonna just make this a little bit prettier for you. Okay, so you will see there is an X there, an X there, your punny ears, and then X, X. So be sure to watch our How to Lace Yourself Up video to uh, understand how these pull loops work and those little X's. I go over that really clearly in that video. So, and that's how you relace a standard length corset. Now, if you don't think that that's for you, don't worry, we offer a relacing service. Uh, so just add that into your cart when you are checking out with your corset and your new laces, and our, one of our agents will get that uh, laced up for you and sent on its way. So I hope you found that as helpful as our customer service team was hoping that that would help you guys out. And be sure to leave any questions or comments down in the comments below, and we'll be sure to answer those. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.